Hello, this is Wes from NCSI. Uh, today I'd like to show you a couple of little tips and tricks for configuring self-service in um, Avanti Service Manager. And so as you can see on the screen, I've got um, the enterprise splash screen that pops up for self-service. And basically I'm logged in with the role of self-service. And if I was to go to um, self-service, it would just take me to the first self-service page. So if I click here, you'll see I go to the self-service page, which I've customized it as well, but it goes to self-service. Um, I can come back in if I log in as self-service again, just refresh the role basically. It comes in, gives me that splash page. And these are cards that are on that enterprise page that we can configure. And basically the only thing really that is configurable on this page is to set, add a new card and have it go to a particular role that we have set um, to be used in self-service. So I kind of want to get around that. I've had people ask me, can I add things to this page? other than these cards, can I customize it? Not really, but if we could um, just get to this page and then do the same kinds of things on this page, it'd be great. You can see that I've probably got that set up to do that right now. So what I'm gonna do is log in here as an administrator. Yes. And um, my admin, admin page, if I click the little matrix sign here and come here and I can go back and see my self-service page. So I've configured this, um, these blocks um, on self-service so that they go to another, basically another uh, role. And so if we go look at those roles in the back end, look at them first, we'll see that um, for the self-service role, roles and permissions, Go down here, self-service mobile. We'll see we're using the new user interface. <clears throat> the screen pop up. It says um, enterprise self-service welcome page, modern self-service UI. That's great, but I don't want the splash page. I want to go to my self-service page immediately. So I'm just going to uncheck that box and save it. And come back over here and I'll just uh, a refresh and we'll log in as self-service <clears throat> and we see that we go to my self-service page my default one i still want the ability to go to um, other roles and so if i click here on facility support now we'll see that it takes me to the facility page just like the enterprise page would do, would do. i would customize this page as well Log back in as self-service. And we can go to the self-service for IT. Which takes me to another little customized page. But the way we do that is if we come back in here as an administrator, yes. <clears throat> and we go to um, edit these guys and look at that self-service page. Look at these blocks here, and if I configure one of these, you'll see that um, I'm giving it a title, description, all those things. But the action here is a URL, and this goes to my server URL, login ASPX, role equals self-service IT. So just as the enterprise uh, page directs you to self-service IT, this page will now direct you to self-service IT. And so you'll see the same thing in facility. You'll see that the action takes you to a URL which takes you to the self-service FM role. Okay. And those roles have to be set up so that they are, um, and I'll show you those. Go back here and we'll go to configure. And let's go down to users and permissions, roles and permissions. And I'll go down to, well, let's just look at the self-service FM. Click it. We do see that this is checked here. So service extended role, and that's where you'll, you'll need those to be set that way. So we see them in our little drop down list when we're configuring those um, pages. All right. And for today, really, that's all I really wanted to show. So until next time.